Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Roscoe's Viewing Party of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16. What? What? We're, We're back, back again. Back. Can we believe it's Season 16 already? Yeah, I can't. 16, 15 years of this. Yeah, fuck that. Hey, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> Say hello to YouTube, everyone. Hi, YouTube. hi, hi, hi. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. But ladies, have a seat. And everyone watching on Friday and Saturday, thank you for being a VIP member. If you don't want to watch this on Monday like everyone else, please consider purchasing for $1.99. It's literally... Two dollars. Two dollar ho. Two dollars. I'll send you ten on Venmo. <laughs> how much could do you, you how much do you, you request back though? Do I I don't request oh, back. Okay. No, no, uh, you know you could do that. Yeah, I, bitch, that's what I just found that you. out too. Yeah, you can request shit. Back. I'm gonna start requesting money to you every week <laughs> for all the shady. I'm gonna throw. start tipping you and then getting it back. Um, all right, are we ready for our guest? It's been uh, a great time thus far. I am really looking forward to this guest. Um, She's a talker. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, all the NYC girls are. And, yeah, yeah. and you know we love a good talker, and she's freezing out there, so let's go ahead and bring, bring her, her out here. Please give it up for the very lovely, the very gorgeous and talkative. Plasma! <laughs> Bitch, I could hear y'all talking shit from outside. Jesus Christ. Yay. Off to a good start. Roscoe's, what the <laughs> fuck is up? Welcome to the Roscoe stage. Is it our first time here in Chicago? Not in Chicago, but it is my very first time here at Roscoe's. Let's go. Welcome. Oh. Work. We are, so, we love her too. <laughs> uh, we are so excited to have you. Thank you. Uh, you are one of my personal favorites. Um, listen, I love a queen that is so sure of who they are when they get on the show. And I feel like when you got on the show, you're like, there's no discovery here. This is who I am. Is that right? Yeah, I would say so. I'm also the youngest girl in the cast, but also the oldest hag in the cast. Oh my. So Are like, you serious? You're the youngest girl in the cast? Yeah, Dawn is like four or five months older than me, but, you know, is a child. So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I was so thrilled to, like, be, you know, <laughs> represent the vintage girls who have never been represented on the show ever. Red-headed vintage girls. No, we don't do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The Talk. youngest gal, but with the oldest references. I'm sure some of them yes. were like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Did you get really? that? Oh, yeah. Some of my references, I think, went even over Rue's head. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. Like, I, I think I made... I'm trying to remember. I, uh, I probably made some kind of Barbara Streisand reference that only I would fucking know. And RuPaul was like... <laughs> <laughs> Just a quick one. <laughs> Didn't drag it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Well, I love that. I can't wait to really dig in and get all uh, the good, juicy stuff from behind the scenes, what we see, your opinion on everyone, meaning plain Jane. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's coming. I shit you not, bitch. I was in Nashville last weekend, and I had a flight attendant from Nashville to Sacramento, and he came up to me doing beverage service, and he said, I'm such a fan. Is plain Jane really that big of a cunt? <laughs> And I said, I'll have a Diet Coke. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I Literally. love that. It, it, I feel like it's the one thing you just cannot avoid this season, right? No, plain, I know. Her fucking attitude, too. No, yeah. You know what? Are we, are we really going to go in go in raw, no lube on Plain Jane this oh, early no, no, in the no. game? We, we are. We're, listen, we're, I, I'm not sure if, if you drink or not, but we're going to get you oh, yeah. she does. Nice she and drinks liquored. tequila. We'll get oh, you nice yeah. and liquored up before we start asking those questions. <laughs> so that uh, we can get all the tea. Uh, but again, if you're watching Previously on YouTube, on please go ahead and subscribe. It's getting started, let's go to the show. Okay, before we get into what's going on in the episode. <laughs> you are just fucking funny, love, bitch. Love, love, love. We wanna get into what we saw from last, last week, week, from the elimination. Uh, tell us what the tension was uh, once the eliminated queen got eliminated, during the lip sync, all that kind of stuff. Well. So, like, <laughs> the thing is that we all knew Maya Iman LePage came in with a basketball on her head and set in my premiere and said, I don't set the bar, I flip sit. We were all like, well, end of list. Like, that's the story. Like, Maya Iman LePage got up there in the bottom two and she did what she came to Drag Race to do. And it was like, I remember, like, standing in the back feeling this, this like, pulse come off of Maya, watching from the back. It, it, it was like the most incredible thing I've ever seen because she is like very meek, very timid, very like uh, 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 reserved. And then she gets up there and 
It was fucking insane. Also, really quickly, before we get too far gone, can, can we do a toast? Oh, sure. I have a little Absolutely. toast that I do back home in New York. Is everyone drinking tonight? Yeah. Yes. Sure. Okay. Just really quickly, because I think that it's important that we recognize supporting the bar is important, especially here at Roscoe's Tavern. Absolutely. Um, so I do a little toast back home that goes a little something like this. Cheers to winter. Cheers to autumn. If you tell me your verse, girl, I know you're a bottom. Drink up. <laughs> Cheers to that. That's it. Okay. Cheers to that. Did that answer your question about the lip sync? Yeah. Uh, now, was everyone kind of feeling... Was everyone on the same page? They're like, okay, it's Geneva's time. Time to go. You know, like... Yeah, I think so. I think we were... I mean, how many times had she been in the... Was that her third time? Correct. Yeah. That was her third. Yeah. And she even said last week, she said that at that point, she, had a, she felt like it was her time. Yeah, I feel like... You may be able to speak to this, but I feel like there's... There's sort of this moment when, mm, how do I say this? There's a moment I think when you like size up your competitor and you're like, I am, I, I, I will be bested in this, and like you know I felt that at every sewing competition sitting across the the street from Q. Uh, 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 <laughs> what? I just. You know, like, like, like when you know that you're going up against someone who is more skilled at something than you. See. And you're doing something in their wheelhouse. Example, like okay. all these girls going up against you on the Rusical. Bitch! Okay. <laughs> so you had, you had your win on RDL, or the, the share runway. That's when you won. <laughs> Forgive me. And then this came up. Did you think, hey, this is my chance to snag another one? Absolutely. fucking yeah. uh, I literally, and also, like, I grew up watching The Sound of Music. I wheeled a BFA in musical theater like a fucking mad woman, and I... I was not about to be the New York girl who is a Broadway queen who is coming in here, coming in here like, you know, I literally brought the Jan robe with me. You love your sister me. Jan, but you were not going to have her edit. No, literally, and I, I was like, I think I would be doing myself a disservice if I let someone else shove me into another corner, into a role. Which, granted, the last time that someone shoved me into a role, I won. Yeah, but that um, was because it was, it was like what you do. And this is also what you do. Right, well, and what they didn't show, actually, there was a moment on the couch when Tsunami was like, well you didn't get the role you wanted and you won. And I looked at them and I said, so imagine what's gonna happen if you give me the role that I want and I fall on my face. Then you'll feel real proud of yourself, won't you? And, and I was like, the last time you shoved me into a role, I won. So give me a chance to fail, please. But, that's, but looking at this, that's what Safira wants. A manipulation. Well, yes. Well, and you know because she did the same fucking eye contact game with Mirage yeah. for the host and she went. You said, this is familiar. I know what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're looking at each other from across. The we're like this far apart. And she's going, like, like, I'm over here, you know, in my, you know, white twink privileged stare. And, and she's over there looking at me like. And then she goes, all right, fine, take it. <laughs> no, we only get to see, like, just a few seconds of that. We'll, we'll get back into it, and then we'll ask that question. We're back. <laughs> you know, I was wondering right. who Plasma was going to pick on after Amanda left. Turns out everyone. Plasma. Who Plasma I mean, I'm was going to pick on. I'm sorry, plain. I think I'm going to pick on Batty, bitch. <laughs> Start here. Start here. <laughs> no, okay. like... Oh, no, go ahead. Sorry, it's your show. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I had a question about your preparation for this. Right now... You're freaking out. You're kind of realizing that your moment is the entire rusical is your moment. Yes. What are you feeling at that point when you come to that realization? I said, oh my God, I'm Lucy LaDuca of 16. God damn it. <laughs> now in more ways than, you know, all the other obvious ways that we had discovered so far. Um, I, I panic for about a split second and then I'm like, you know what? I either go out in the most entirely glorious, like, fucking fireball down onto the stage of RuPaul's Drag Race, or I might eat this. Tune in. We'll see. <laughs> okay. So you guys did a run-through, though, so I'm confused. I'm just trying to figure out, like, explain to me what happened. How come you ha were like, wait, am I with you guys? And she's like, yeah, on 17, page 17, you're with me. So where, like, when you guys were listening, did you just not realize that your part was that big? Yeah, so, so first of all, yeah, the role of Mariah is literally on every page of this fucking musical. And they had me start at the table with the nuns and, like, go over my section with the nuns. And then they had me go to, uh, 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 I don't know if I can say the name of the, the, like, the Von Trapp family singers, which is Dawn and uh, Megami and Nymphia. Um, and they had me, like, rehearse my section with them. And then Plane and Q and them came over and were like, oh, like, we have a scene together. And I was like, bitch, we haven't even gotten there yet. 
we're halfway through act two. So when you guys were listening to the song, you guys only listened to like maybe a minute of it, yeah? Well, we like all listened to it when we were assigning roles. Like we listened to it once all the way through. Okay. And then picked roles. Okay. So I was like, okay, now that I know which role I'm doing, I'm like paying attention to where everything is and I'm like highlighting my lines and like giving my actor subtext and like all those obnoxious BFA bitch things. <laughs> Okay, now after realizing w what workload you had, looking at your sisters, who were you concerned about or worried about? Uh, before rehearsal. <laughs> this is before rehearsal. Before this is why you chose roles, because we haven't seen them rehearse yet. Yeah, we haven't so seen So this it. is based off of all of the role choices. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, um, Megami spent most of her time complaining instead of learning her part, so I was concerned about her. And then, uh, 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 Q, okay, here's the thing. Q and Plain are perfectly good at, you know, like, sister, uh, you know, they're, they're fucking the, the, I don't know, they're, they're over there like being their stupid villain yeah. dumbass selves. And then Tsunami's like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go do it like them. And she was spending all her time trying to like emulate Plain Jane, which I don't know why anyone would ever do that, but she was like spending a whole lot of time trying to be this evil nasty girl. When just like last night, we were keying on the couch about how funny we thought the Buzz Lightyear comment was. So I'm like, yeah, I just, I don't know. I, I was like, people are wasting time. And maybe that's just because I had so much fucking material to learn that I felt like I couldn't waste any time. But bitch, there were some girls wasting time. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Since she did bring it up, do you feel that Megami did prove herself from the previous uh, win in the team challenge where they did the, it was a girl group challenge, right? Was that a girl yeah. group challenge? because she ended up writing Nymphia's lyrics as yeah, well. She, a bunch yeah, of yeah, 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 which I don't think she's getting enough credit for, so thank you for saying that. Megami did write the bulk of Nymphia's lyrics because Nymphia was hopeless. She was having a hard time. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold that thought, oh because we're back. Oh my God, oh no. <laughs> I, I, Okay, so we are at the rehearsal of the Rusical with uh, award-winning choreographer Adam Shankman is there. Mm -hmm. Now, I can already imagine how intense that is, but then they throw in the distraction of Melissa McCarthy. How was that, bitch? Okay, honestly, can I tell y'all something? Please. I, you know, I went to RuPaul's Drag Race thinking that I had a particular skill set. Yeah. And then Melissa McCarthy walks in and starts throwing fucking cheese at us. <laughs> Which, by the way, all of us, like... This is so disgusting, but we all like balled up the wax that those cheeses come in and like shoved them underneath the seats, like over sitting on the side. We were all like, <laughs> like elementary school students, like with their gum on the fence of the track or whatever. So <laughs> anyway, not what I was going to say, but um, just like girly things. Um, I walked in and then Melissa McCarthy walked in and like we caused a stir. And then Adam Shankman went like, time to rehearse. And my bitch ass went straight back in. I dead ass, also, I'm so glad they didn't show it, but I did fall on my ass in the middle of rehearsal and he got a notification in his little headset and he was like, okay, Plasma. Plasma, you're gonna need to step your pussy up if you're gonna lead this musical. <laughs> How delayed was it, girl? You were already on the floor getting back up. Girl, I had already run the choreography again. <laughs> I'd already looked Melissa in the face and I said, I need another cheese now. And she, no, he dead ass was like, okay, you'll be Plasma. I was like, bitch, this is some, this is some television. Yeah. Rigor Morris. Now, usually we get to see, the girls say they have about 30 minutes from this segment we see here. This looks a lot longer because we see all of y'all together, then he breaks it down. About how long was that? Do you remember? It was about, uh, we each had, like, each group had about, like, 15-ish minutes. Uh, 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 and then the true tea, so we each have, like, 15 minutes on stage. He spent about five minutes with me teaching me that opening because it's Julie Andrews, and I was like, <laughs> I know it. Um... <laughs> And so, which, by the way, I asked this the la I, at the viewing party I did where I did the Barbara Streisand shit and I had all these dumbass confessionals with all this fucking musical theater bitch-ass knowledge. Am I annoying in these confessionals or what? Absolutely not. Because I'm watching... No, no, no. no I deadass. I'm watching it and I'm like... It's just hysterical. You are so funny. You're, all of, just your reaction to a reaction is, is just wild. I'm gagged by that. I don't know why. This is how I watch myself. Yeah, I don't know. I feel you. No, it's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is it like watching yourself, though? I mean, you're 25 years old. I mean, you're going to be amazing. I, you just are going to grow into this big fucking flower that's never going to stop pollinating. Oh, um, <laughs> Never Wait. gonna stop pollinating. Bitch, I'm not a top. I'm not spreading my seed anywhere. You heard Please. it here. Please. 
Bitch, also, the runway tonight, I don't know if this is a spoiler, but the runway tonight is... is uh, Florals. Florals. It's, it's relative to flowers, so thank you for that lovely timing that. of that niche reference. Well, you know I'm old, so... Well, so you were talking about how young I am on TV. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's totally... It's wonderful and it's wild and I feel like I'm so glad that I have sort of like this time capsule to look back on my drag. Like my drag has already changed a whole lot since I filmed the show. So watching it back is so, it's so nice to reminisce and remember like it was so rapid fire while I was there. I was so present. Of course, you don't have a phone. You can't document anything. You can't take anything with you that they like give you. So watching it all back, it's so nice to, to remember like I also tried to walk in with this sensibility of I want to be able to stand by everything I'm saying and doing in 10 years. I'm like, I'm 24. I don't know shit. Like, I haven't even gone through a quarter-life crisis yet. Cut to me watching on the show. Uh, um, but I don't know. It's nice. I like it so far. And for YouTube, we will have subtitles for you guys because I know she... <laughs> yeah. This bitch is talking so, so fast. fast. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm keeping I, up. Ooh, uh, I can't even react. <laughs> I'm still reacting to something she said five minutes ago. Okay, bitch. Because I was like, damn, she had a point. And then she's moved on. She's a flower pollinating now. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Where was I two seconds ago? She just said, up. Oh, <laughs> plasma, you're going to have to yeah. step your pussy up. <laughs> Where's your headset, bitch? I didn't know yeah. Russell's had that kind of budget, bitch. <laughs> I did tell I, I told Kara I said wow she talks so fast I'm gonna have to watch this on point five bitch and rewind <laughs> oh totally <laughs> for I real like slow live. this bitch down slow her down it's now a good time to tell y'all I also did speech and debate in high school I believe right. it hell yeah <laughs> anyway we're back with RuPaul's Drag Race watch the TV <laughs> that was so fast can we talk about what RuPaul is wearing oh my god let's L please hold on hold on first okay. of all do you want to stay in her good graces? Yeah. Do you want to be welcome back for you all should. stars? You know, you know, actually, you know what? I'll say this. I had a jeweler in New York named Robert Sorrell, who's a fabulous jeweler, and you should all look him up. And when I went for an appointment for my share headpiece, yeah. he was like, okay, I'm so glad you came today because I'm doing Zaldi's package for Rue tomorrow. I'm like, not me and RuPaul wearing the same fucking clothes or the same, like, using the same designers. And I remember seeing this dress from the waist up because, of course, you know you never see anything from the waist down because RuPaul films her, like, runway segment without the queens there. And I remember seeing this from the waist up, and I was like, hmm, that is a beautiful loofah. <laughs> anyway, I mean, she looks beautiful in every single fucking thing she wears. I just have no idea how she pulls it off. Did and you know the bottom of that was blue? <laughs> <laughs> no. Now I'm the one just catching up, bitch. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the stage, Laguna. Anyway, um... Just kidding, she's not on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do that New York queen like that. She's fabulous. No, she's a friend of mine. Okay. You had a question? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she is ready. Uh, I live, I live, I live. Okay, so it's been rumored with previous uh, rusicals that they give them a certain amount of time to rehearse and then uh, it's just not enough time. In your personal opinion... <laughs> Were you given enough time? Would you have wanted more time? And if you could remember how much time they gave you, how much time was it? We had a nine hour rehearsal on a Saturday. We got the challenge on a Friday, because of course the filming schedule of RuPaul's Drag Race, you film one week of television in two and a half days, right? So we <gasps> <What>? filmed the <gasps> Dumb bitch. Um, so oh, we I'll got, let you have that one. We got the... <laughs> That one, I'm looking next to one, dumb bitch. Um, yes, yes. I knew you were my friend, Plasma. <laughs> all of a sudden. Oh, uh, saved by the bell, bitch, saved by the, the bell. The mic went out. Okay, no, 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 so, so first of all, I love your ass. These girls up here, y'all make some noise for these girls up here at Roscoe's every Friday. Oh, we're not turning this around, bitch. <laughs> I'm still gonna fucking get you. Period. Um... So we got, the, we got the challenge on a Friday. We had, you know, about an hour on stage rehearsing our various groups with Adam Shankman that Friday. Um, and then on Saturday, they brought us in for a nine-hour rehearsal where we actually learn all of the choreography and all of the material. And a nine-hour rehearsal is enough for me. 
Even when I'm in every scene of the musical, I'm in almost every number. I'm lip syncing the whole fucking time. I have a costume change. Spoiler, you'll see, you'll see it. Um, wow, uh, she just gives it all just, away. Bitch. Someone just, just said, going in. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy, everybody. Uh, uh, you, yeah. leave, you leave my friend Yuli alone. <laughs> hey, girl. Period. Um, um, oh, and... Yeah, I don't even see her because if you but did, she looks like would be dying right now. <laughs> stand fucking, up, Melissa. Stand up. I fucking Look love at Melissa you. McCarthy. So Bitch, skinny. is that a Baybell cheese? Throw it in my fucking mouth. And we're back. And we're back. We're back. We're back. Wow. Wow. Let's make, make some, some noise. noise. Ah. Please make some noise for plasma. Yes. Bitch. Okay, you did that, Diva. You Stop really, you. You, you really did. I, I want to hear all about it uh, now that you're watching it back and after your rehearsals and all that stuff. But before we do, I do have to say, I, I mean, you really were the star of not be, and not not because you're here, because we don't give a fuck. We'll tell them whatever. Uh, <laughs> you really were the star of that musical. You really were. It, it, it seems like a challenge even for others. Not, it, it probably would have been a challenge for you to kind of pop. You know what I mean? Because everything was kind of clustered into groups and you were always like... Front and center. There. It was just so great. Oh, tell me, what, what, did you, what were your thoughts seeing it back? Because is that the first time you saw it? Yeah, that's the first time I've heard any of that music. Which, did y'all see me lip syncing to that shit? <laughs> Up here, I have literally every day of my life since we filmed this, like, gone home and been like, what do you do when you can't find your try? And I've been like, I think I'm a sociopath because I still remember every single fucking word in that musical. Um, sorry, every word in that musical is what I meant to say. Um, I... <laughs> Melissa? <laughs> Period! Um... Watching it back, are you happy with this? I, I mean, I'm self-conscious. I'm a performer. I don't like watching myself, but I, I don't know. I think I kind of ate that. You, you did. did. You did. Your choreo was so sharp, and everything was so on point. Bitch, I heard Batty over here when when I did the dot dot dot. That was it. She was. Why do I still remember that? A and B. She went. Oh shit. I said, okay, it had just started. I was like, oh bitch, she's not playing. Yeah. <laughs> I just pictured plain Jane behind this arm. Waka! <laughs> and I pictured Q behind it. Waka! Speaking of, I heard you do a good Q impersonation. Is that right? Let's hear it. It's literally just her laugh. Is it? <laughs> it's just her laugh. It's. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm doing her for Snatch Game. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> No, I actually also wanted to address really quickly. Thank you all so much for the love in this room. I feel like there's sort of a... Yeah, make some noise for yourselves, please. Um, coming to Roscoe's, there's like... The drag queen chatter is that queens come to Roscoe's to watch themselves go home. And although, like, obviously I can't spoil anything for y'all, um, but I am having such a great time and I'm so grateful to be here, especially in a house of love. And I hate to say that because, you know, I get a check for every time I say house of love these days. Um... <laughs> No, totally kidding. I'm broke. Um, but I just, I don't know. I'm really grateful to be here. Thank you guys for, for this, yes. well, this environment. Um, I'm, glad that you, I'm glad that you said that because, one, we're really happy that, that you're here. But we made it a point to, you know, tell our audience that, you know, whether they're going home or not or whatever the fuck is going on, um, the queens do love to be here because this is a room full of love. Um, so why not be at Roscoe's? Anyway. There's no place like it. There really isn't. Um, and you'll see that when we perform at 10.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, with our Friday Night Lights cast, which is going to be a great show. But anyway, okay, let's continue to talk about this. After watching it, um, is there anyone that you're like, ooh, maybe she might be in the bottom? Well, she knows. Let me ask you, girl. <laughs> the, the only person that production showed a flub on was Maya with Maya the veil in front thing. of her face. Okay, but also I saw that Nymphia did not know her words. <laughs> yeah, she did it. You're she right. was supposed to say air corn. And she was like, okay. So let, let's runway, do, runway. Yeah, let's do the runway thing we've been the doing with all the girls. We, we've been going through the whole list. Chop. And we would want you to either yay or chop. Now, Chop, that comes from the ballroom scene. When you're, when you're in a, at a ball and you could have 10 judges and everyone give you 10s across the board, but if one judge 
chops you, you're completely out of the category. You have to get every judge to give you tens. So we want you to chop or give them their tens. Oh, I'm Shady giving. Boots, I'm giving. Bitch. I'm giving two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay, okay. So let's. We'll start this list. Um, Oh wait, a mandatory meeting. She's gone. We cross uh, Nation. You're supposed to cross them off oh each week. Oh my God, why is that so <laughs> shady? Nation doesn't cross I'm her list off reading. each week. That's what happens, y'all. I knew okay. she was. No, gonna no, do I'm it. kidding. I'm kidding. Nation's I'm like, kidding. I was on the show so long ago. I don't know any of their names. <laughs> right. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. We'll start with people who are on there. Uh, Dawn was the let's first. Let's do point. Dawn. Chop or tens. Nine and a half. No, there's no nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half. half. Chop. I say she's six and a half at most, bitch. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, the garment. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it's either a 10 or a chop. There's no in-between? There's no, no gray area? At 10 all? or chop. Chop. I get to chop. I was with you, Don. Uh, Meg- Megami. Y'all are nasty. Chop. Wait, no, guys, <laughs> let her answer. Let her tell you chop herself. I, <laughs> this saves her if they say oh it, Oh, my though. God. That's no, wait, I can't. Chop. Chop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Maya. Girl. What was that? Girl. That's Chop. Spells Chop. Okay. Uh, Morphe. Chop. Chop. No, okay, no. Listen, Morphe. No, that was a chop. That was a chop. Uh, <laughs> Nymphia. Ten. Ten. Also, I had no idea she had leaves growing out of there. I was like... That was fierce. So that, that was, was the first time you saw that? Yes. That was, oh, work. That was, that was cool. fierce. That was You're fierce. so fierce. Okay. We have Plain Jane. You know, I actually I looked over <laughs> I looked over at these girls and I said, Oh my god, it's so different for her and she was like, It's different for me and I was like, That's cause it's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chop. Wow. I, chop. I think that she based on how much she's bragging about how much she spent on her package, I think she should have spent a little bit more. Chop. On that one. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Okay. Uh, plasma. Chop. No. <laughs> Ten. I put Baby. Pla- Baby. Did y'all like that look, that yellow rose look? Baby. Baby. It was wait, hold on. And it was the red hair, the red lip, everything together just worked. Yeah. And the little red accents everywhere. Bitch, that night was your motherfucking night. Yeah. Be- Down. Well, thank you. That actually, that look is inspired by My Fair Lady, if you're familiar with the musical. And also, I am from the great state of Texas. One of the state flowers is the yellow rose. And I thought I would pay tribute to my home state of Texas with the yellow rose, bitch. My favorite thing is that this 24 motherfucking year old is trying to tell you... <laughs> Okay. About my fair lady. She, she's acting like she's 55 years old. It's from my fair lady. Bitch, you <laughs> tried it. This okay. bitch is like, well, you over here in Kate Winslet's <laughs> suit from Titanic. You should talk, bitch. Ah! Get her, Jane. Honestly, the look you wore tonight is giving, it doesn't look any bigger <laughs> than the Mauritania. I just needed to go tighter with the court. A few more girls. A few more girls. A few more okay. before commercial. Wait, wait. All right. Q. 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 Oh, tens. 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 It was tens. so good. Tens. Bitch. Tens. Safira. Ten. Ten. And by the way, that is not her complete costume. She had to chop two of the biggest petals because they wouldn't wow. fit through the fucking runway. Wow. Now, um... And Tsunami. Tsunami. Chop. Oh! Uh-huh. Melissa, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, I'm going to say tens because I think Tsunami does... When I was explaining the concept, that a designer friend of mine made that look and they were going for like an upside-down bouquet. Okay, and well, after, we didn't see it. And, well, I, well, after she explained it to me, I thought it was beautiful. This but is very congenial of you. Yeah, you're very cute. If we're keeping it cute, <laughs> it was unfair to put you and Safira first because anyone that followed y'all, it just oh, wasn't. Sh- yeah. It bitch, I would have walked it. that runway like. <laughs> you said no, morphine, I'm, you got an extra tab, bitch. No, I'm over it. I would have been a broke down ass rose petal, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Wilting away, baby. I, after you came out and Safira, I was like, bitch, what the fuck are they going to do? And then poor, nim- uh, poor uh, morphine We're came out. Queens. Okay. Okay. Are, are, are we agreeing with that? Um, are we agreeing, ladies? Yeah. You, I don't know, they, bitch. I was there. Y'all say something. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I think they're pretty accurate with it. Um, I, I don't, don't think Miss Thing was stoned, but... If you don't win, I'll be shocked. In that moment, if you weren't going to take it, which one of your sisters do you think could have had the win? Safira. Safira, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, like, they made a comment about how, like, Q is not a strong dancer, and I was just telling Batty, I was like, <laughs> I kept... <laughs> That's, first of all, in the words of plain Jane, that's my sister. <laughs> but I kept kill, I, after the girl group's challenge, I kept telling Q to go back to Legoland. Because she... Anyway, sorry, I don't know how sound the stage is here. Um, but I, I, I feel like Q... First of all, 
<laughs> if I were going to be any other role, I would have been the old 65-year-old woman with apparently the hunchback. Yeah, yeah so, you got scoliosis, bitch. Ah! Scoliosis. Scoliosis. Ah! sister. Yeah, Jesus. Um... No, I would say Safira. Especially after the runway, I would say Safira's runway was like superior. Superior. Yay. Now on the opposite end, which one of your sisters should probably be um, worried? Listen to some lyrics. You can pick more than one. <laughs> I'm just saying. Two going to the bottom. Katie Boots. <laughs> um, oh, that one. I'm going to go with Melissa number four. We got Melissa 1, Melissa 2, Melissa 3, Melissa 4, period. What's your name? Bear. I don't care. Thank you. All right. Okay. That's Na Bear. No, Na I would... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say... Uh, Megami, Maya, and Morphine. Yeah. All the M's. I would honestly... Well, you know what? I would say that, that out of the three of them, Morphine served the most, like, attitude. She served the most character. Out in of the, the performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of the performance. And, all, like, unfortunately, the runway, like, sucked. wasn't her best. But but I just I, I remember like the rest of us showed up in like huge crap. You thought I wasn't gonna talk some shit, bitch. The camera is rolling. The monitor is on. Hi, hi YouTube. No, bitch. She showed up in a, a morphine. I love you, and you know I do. She showed up in an Akira pantsuit. You thought it was what? Akira. Don't do that. We love we love Akira. We love Akira. Stage. She showed up in a Shein pantsuit. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't Timu? Okay. <laughs> hey, guys, at least she kidding. stoned it. She did. One. She Where? stoned it. Who? She put a whole ten stones on Bitch. there. Bitch. Can I also just say, my look, my yellow look, had not a single rhinestone on it, but I was so proud of, like, the textures of it. Sometimes you don't, you, need, you rhinestones don't need rhinestones to shine, to bitch. Shine. Okay. And sometimes you need more rhinestones to, to, to do anything, really. See? I love you, Morphine. I love you. I love you. Stone your garment. By um, the way, Morphine will be here next week with us. Ah! Yes. I also have to say, Morphine comes off as a bitch. She is the fucking sweetest woman on I earth. I cannot wait. I love I her. I cannot wait. It's going to be a good time. Um, but <laughs> Fuck you, Morphine. <laughs> Scissor. <laughs> now y'all really don't know who I'm going to do for Snatch Game. I could do any one of those bitches. Anyway. I, know, I live. <laughs> I live. Um, okay, yeah, so I, are we all predicting class? Oh, wait, we're, we're going to find out. We're, we're back, well, we're back. I think she we're... has a motherfucking point. All right, what were you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> tell, us about, tell us about how you were feeling as soon as you got your win. Uh, apparently rancid looking. So, uh, no, bitch, I am the only girl in the competition right now who has two solo wins. Are you saying the girls with the quarter wins, it doesn't count? Yes. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I am saying that. Uh, uh, um, yes. Uh, what was the question? Yes. Um, and how were you feeling about your win at this point? How Brent. are you feeling <laughs> about? Your you, you said, win? let me say it in a, in a language plasma will understand. Down, how are you feeling about your win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, thank you. Um, I feel good. Yeah. I did. <laughs> Period. No, I um I. I don't, oh my God, I don't know. Like it, it I, obviously like I have known that this is coming for some time. Oh, I, I feel great now. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. Like that's the shit I went to Drag Race to do. And, and the fact that there is so much conversation around like the, girl, the musical theater bitches who get up there and demand to play the lead and then who fall on their fucking face and <laughs> stop, stop. Oh and, and, and that is, she, for those of you that thought she said something, she did. She said Lucy. <laughs> she was Which, so Lucy, good. if you're watching this, go to bed. I know your dog is sick, you dumb bitch. Oh my god. No, I just I, I wanted to I wanted to get in there and I wanted to sink my teeth into something that I know I'm fucking good at. And also, like, I don't intend to stop at RuPaul's Drag Race. I intend to be on Broadway. I intend to be on television. I intend to have a career as a performer, as an actor, as a singer, as a dancer, as an entertainer. And that is what I went to RuPaul's Drag Race to do. So I saw that opportunity as like, yeah, this is my win. What's next week? 
Yes. Now, Plasma, on that note, you want to take on all these things. What is that one like dream role or dream musical that you're like, I'm going to do this before I can't do it? Someone on Twitter beat me to it. I want to play Chris Perfetti's younger gayer brother on Abbott Elementary. On Abbott? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, bitch. You no, look be- just like her. Well, I know, and I, I'm like, I get up there, and I like, so I have a whole plot in vision. I'm like, I need to, I need to email Quinta Brunson and be like, I have a plot for you. Um, no, but like, drag queen story hour at the elementary school, and Chris Perfetti doesn't know that that's his brother or his, his non-binary sibling, and um, and I like stir some shit up, and we have a conversation about drag queens with children on another national television program and we keep the that conversation would be going. Would be so that's a dream. I'd love to be on Broadway. Yeah, well, yeah. The girls are fighting. They're getting real yes. and untucked. Um, Plasma, can you get real with us for just a second? When Maya and Megami were on stage, um, it seemed like it was going one way and then it shifted. And then when Batty made a comment, you just sipped your drink for a long time. Do you agree with who went home tonight? Mmm... You know, when Dawn said taking off your shoes is breaking a cardinal rule of lip syncing, uh, is someone clapping? I swear. The front bar. <laughs> no, I know, I just answer. recited a poem. Isn't that impressive? No, um, I, I agree with, the, I know, not all the jokes are winners, but this drink is a winner, though. Um, and so am I, LOL. Ha, ha, ha. I, um, you, you know. remember where we were? I think that my, uh, I think that I think that Maya outperformed Megami. I also think that Maya broke the rules. Does that make sense? Like I think that Maya's performance overall was very much like more it was a more impressive lip sync performance and she also took off her shoes and was ripping shit off of her garment and like it just it was a little bit less organized. However, like part of the excitement of drag is that not everything's going to go fucking right. I don't know. I'm giving my pageant answer. Thank you so I much for this tell. question. Okay. Yeah, that's not what so, she wanted to say. So congenial, my goodness. Mm. 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 I don't know. I think I think if it wasn't for that slide across the stage, Girl, her that free willy. She just <laughs> bitch. That's you what said it. it. That's what won it. YouTube. That's Batty Davis. You come for her to not come for Have me. Have y'all ever seen Free Willy? Um, it's, it's good. I mean, it's, she gave me like... Sure. Y'all... Sure. You could have said slip and slide. I mean, no. like a slip and slide. That's not like what I look like on a slip and slide. Back in the day, bitch. <laughs> but I think if you it was... You look like wet cheese bitch. in this fucking dish, bitch. If it wasn't for that little slip and slide move, I don't think she would have gotten it because once the shoes came off you think the slip and slide well, I, 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 I seriously think so. what when RuPaul looked at her shoe I'm telling you this right now and I'm telling you from experience she's done it yeah. my no, shoes rip- came off we saw and the don't get her hold on she, oh. she finish oh. your statement finish your statement oh, so okay, no. <laughs> oh it's so Bitch, lovely to be in box. Chicago with oh, you all tonight ah. I'm having no. a marvelous time with all of my scissors she hates she hates wigs to come off. She hates wigs to come off. And also, she you never forget. Ha- you never ever forget when she looks at you like no, that. No, she, she like it bothers her. And sometimes you will see that we're real confused. We're like, ooh, who's gonna go home? And she's like, I made my decision. Like she says it so quick because she literally will make a decision based off that. Like she does hate when you lose your drag and when you take off your shoes and the other one is perfectly. Put together. Put together. Oh, yeah. Doing it in the heels, which I find so ero- ironic because she's sitting behind that judge's... I thought you were about to say judges. so erotic. No, so ironic because she's sitting behind that judge's table with no, no shoes, shoes, in slippers, and pajama pants. So for her to be very that way, I think it's kind of ironic. Uh, but... Nisha, that's her show. I'm just saying... Did I lie? Tell me, did I lie? Bitch, did you're I gonna die? fucking lie. Yeah. Wait, uh, we did it. We we did, did you did you? I, I'm sure you had heard about it, but did you witness it? Did you get to witness? What did y'all her? girl think of the lip sync? <laughs> <laughs> we thought Megami was gonna I will we take thought, that. We thought Megami won. Yes. We thought Megami <laughs> did it because she just kind of kept it together, and you know. But they were right about Megami. She does need a little little more emotion when she's doing the thing. Yeah, I, I sort of do agree with that. Also, I just want to comment really quickly. I genuinely, 
bitch. I actually never saw that. Never. Okay. Never. <laughs> oh, bro, never. Yeah. What y'all talking about over there? We were Not talking about how hot the PA Justin is. He is cute, yeah. Bitch, he, the he, number... Oh, When he came girl. out the first week, we were like, ooh, there's a new one. No, a new one? <laughs> He's, oh, he's not there. new? Oh. No, he's been there. Yeah, okay. he's been there a while. He's also very sweet. We like Well, him let sweet. me tell y'all something. You know what? When you're trapped in the hotel and you don't have internet access to all of the um, uh, adult content you cling to in this day-to-day -day life, you go on set and you see a PA and, and you think horrible things. <laughs> Just horrible evil. I remember whenever he would come into Untucked, I'd be like, shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. <laughs> My God, Justin. Oh my God, is it time to go back to the main stage? Yeah! Anyway, hi, Justin. I hope your husband's well. Oh. Oh, at least he's family. And, and also, as Justin had to, they, everyone had to wear masks. We were still wearing masks. So we could, we did not see his face for like a hot minute until we like egged him on, egged him on. Then he took it off and it was like a big reveal and everyone went crazy and we absolutely fell in love with him. He's like awesome. Yeah. He's so awesome. So sweet. Anyway, y'all got some more shit to talk, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Shut uh, up, Daddy. <laughs> so, Plasma, okay. there were 15 girls in this season? 14. 14. Forgive me, forgive me. Did you know anyone going into this? I knew Tsunami. Uh, I had met Dawn. I had heard of Plain Jane. Had you worked with Megami in any... No, I hadn't. Okay. I don't think I... Well, I had done a photo shoot with Tsunami at one point. Like a big, like, group thing. Um, <laughs> Jesus. No, um... Tsunami and I worked together briefly. I had met Dawn. I knew about Megami. I knew about... Oh, my God. Who's the other New York girl? Oh, no, no. I actually... I, I hadn't even heard of Nymphia, but she is, like, a local competition winner in New York City. Uh, so I had, like, heard her name. I had heard Plain Jane through the rumor mill. Um, I can't even spell the name Q. <laughs> yeah, end of list. Who were you pleasantly surprised to see there out of all those girls? Hershey LaCour Jeté. <laughs> Because I, uh, you know what, you know what, you hear the last name Jate and you're like, uh oh, she's come back for the, uh -huh. the revenge of the bread, and she like, revenge of the bread, revenge of the bread. That's Cornbread's daughter. So it just, it's so good. See, you see, you, did y'all see that delayed reaction? She just registered what I've been saying this whole yeah, fucking night. I'm here. I was with her this week, this past week. The time is. Make some noise for Megami. Oh, we love Word. you, Megami. That is my fucking sister. Yeah. She and I have had such like incredible laughs yeah. since we all like got home from filming. I don't know. I fucking love that girl. I know that she never really got a moment to like break the like break through on the show, but that bitch is I don't know. When Plain Jane was like, I don't know if, you know, holding up posters is a talent. I was like political activism is a talent. And that's how I feel about Megami. Like she, she is unassuming but so deeply yeah talented and outspoken and I don't know I think the world of that girl please make some noise for my sister yes, Megami absolutely yes you know sometimes sometimes to get a message across you have to get like you have to raise your volume or you know do something to get somebody's attention and I think that that's where Megami's misunderstood because she's that type of person that stays like at a level five no matter what the feeling is happy sad mad if you've noticed, she's just so calm yeah. and so relaxed. And if you watch the viewing party when we had her here, she made so much sense. She was hilarious. And it was all like the same tone and the same calmness. She's just so serene. I just really, really enjoy her. And I just wish her the best. Megami, we love you. Same. <laughs> love you, sis. Okay. Now, uh, are we saying uh, goodbye to the front part? All right, uh, Roscoe's up in the front. We're going to say ciao, bye. We're going to play some music up there for you. Have cocktails, have a kiki. We're going to do Q&A back here. If you want to join us, come on over to the back and join us. Uh, we're going to chat over here for Bitch, a little bit. Really quickly, is there any way on earth that I can go to the bathroom? Oh, my God. I got to go piss, girl. So, I've had so, much, so many it, of these fucking it, cocktails. No, no, absolutely. But in your writer, we actually put that you could... No, I'm just kidding. Go, girl. Go, girl. <laughs> Go, you, go, didn't, you didn't read the fine print. You know, in, in the writer you said you only go once. So if it's this is the one. Give me this water bottle, no. bitch. <laughs> I like turn around. I'm like, I'm joking. Yeah, what's well, the question? Yeah, I'll be no. back in five minutes. Is that perfect okay? time? This is okay. the perfect time. All right, bye. Okay. We are going we'll take the to the microphone. Wash your hands. No, you're all good. Um, watch her. Make sure she washes her hands. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this opportunity to say thank you to our VIP members. Thank you guys so much for watching right after on Friday nights and. Uh, 
subscribing to our VIP uh, subscription. So let's go ahead and say hello to a couple of our uh, favorites that comment. Yeah, we're going to start out with Sky in Oklahoma. Hello to you. Thank you so much for watching every week. Alexandra in San Jose, Texas. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Let's say hi to Rudy Yard. Did I, you think I got that right? Yeah. Rudy Yard. That sounds good. Santo Domingo, all the way in the Dominican Republic. Hola. I want to say hello to Renisha in Long Beach, Cali. Hey, girl. Also in Texas, a big shout out to our VIP member, Mousy. Thanks for watching. Hi, Chelsea Gorgeous, all the way in Orlando, Florida. All the way from Poland, Carolina. Thank you for watching every week. In Sacramento, California, shout out to Josh. Thanks for being a VIP member. And Andy in Old Chatham, New York. Hi, Andy. Chatham. Hi, right? jo you did, you did. Oh, work, okay. Hi minutes. to Jojo in Toronto. Thanks for watching. A big hello to Mateus in Brazil. Thank you so much. Shout out to Nikki in Rochester. And I think it's perfect that I end with this. Hello to Wicked Patricia in Paraguay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> work. I want to say again, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, joining our VIP Keep commenting uh, and sending all the love. We read all your comments, and we're so, so grateful. And for those of you that have not subscribed yet, go ahead and join, subscribe. Um, we got all the great content here at Roscoe's with the great uh, season 16. 16. Yes. Girl. Now, I have a question before yeah. Plasma gets back. We saw Megami reading the notes and all that. Um, how far in between, after you leave the stage, does the person come back, pack their bags, and read the notes? Oh, it's all like, okay, so you know in the next episode when you see the girls go into the room? Yeah. That is all happening while you're being held in another room by yourself. So they're about to start next so, week's challenge. So what happens is, yeah, uh, so uh, not pound. next week's challenge. No, no, no. They're getting, no, no, the no. getting they're de-dragging. Okay, okay, okay. But you're being held in a room by yourself, waiting Sometimes they, they'll bring you, like, the makeup wipes so you can get out of it and all that. Um, but by this time, when they're on the main, like, you walk out, right? Yeah. At this point, they're going to take you straight to the room. You're going to do the, your, lipstick the, message. the lipstick message. From there, you're going to grab some stuff. They're going to take you to a room. You go to that room by yourself. The drag, you stay there while they come from the main stage. To reflect. To yeah, reflect yeah. on what just happened. Then they start to de-drag, and we're talking about, you know, however many girls are left to de-drag. By this time, some of them haven't had dinner. Most of them haven't had dinner. They bring dinner onto the set. These girls are doing the most. And you're like this. So eliminated girls just waiting in the room. The eliminated girls just sitting there waiting forever. Upwards of like an, just, upwards of a couple hours. A couple hours. Oh, oh absolutely. My God. Oh, absolutely. You're just waiting for it to be done. Then they put everyone load. They gotta load all these queens. Load them all up. Everyone leaves, and then they allow you to go into the room. But what they allow you to go into the room, mind you, when you go into the room, it's not like you're just gonna go in. By this time. You're taking direction from Untucked. They're like, you have to do this, you have to do that. Make sure you pack, and you just pack something for the, for the shot. Come on up, Plasma, you're the guest. Get dress up here. She's talking about stuff you can't get. That's I said, sorry, I, yeah, felt yeah, like, yeah. I felt like my sister Jasmine Kennedy. I was like, Maxine, I'm about to bust. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Jesus, shut the fuck up. No, Isn't uh, she fun? I love her. Yeah, oh my God, I love her. I can't stand that bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, what did I miss? How are the VIPs? So the VIPs were good. So uh, we are actually going to get into uh, some Q&A right now. Do we have... Uh, yeah, we're going to do Q&A, right? Yeah, we're going to do Q&A. If yeah. you guys have any questions for Plasma, yeah, we get do. them ready. But we're going to start up here. We've got some questions from all of our fellow VIP members that we're going to do like a rapid quick fire for you, one after another. So don't take too long answering, because I just, know you can talk a whole book, okay? That's let's okay. Just, I uh, let's just go back and forth really quick. Just yeah. go straight down the line. Let's not jump up and down. Oh, my God. All right, so we're going to start over here. Um, okay. So this is from Unmitigated Axum. Where does the name Plasma come from? I lived next to a plasma donation center in Norman, Oklahoma, in undergraduate, uh, 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 and I thought that it sounded cunt. Good I, job. I, 
I said last week there was no way she was going to be able to give like a one word answer. Okay, let's do or that. <laughs> okay, this is from Wibbly Wob 7103. Hey, what is your top movie of 2023? Barbie. Barbie. A one word answer, motherfucker. Anyway, this is from Emmy 2325. Um, we heard your, your musical dream role, but give us another one. Waitress. No, just kidding. <laughs> yes. you know, is everyone okay? Is everyone is okay? Everyone yes, okay, we are. okay. Okay, Slay. Um, y'all like that? Anyway. <laughs> I would love to play the witch in Into the Woods because Bernadette Peters is my hero. Love that. Oh, wow. I see it. I see it. A girl yeah. called Clive says, who is your favorite Pokemon? Do you have one? Do you know what it is? No. I actually, I'm gonna say Squirtle because I'm so wet. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. This is from Lance Bell, 9646. If you could have dinner with any person, dead or alive, who would it be? One, only one. William Travilla, who designed most of Marilyn Monroe's dresses for Hollywood. Word. Wow. All right, from Lisa Mujo 281 what is your favorite musical soundtrack? Gotta be the whole thing. This question is calling me an F slur, honestly. <laughs> um, <laughs> Say it. The revival of A Little Night Music with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Angela Lansbury. There's three people in the audience that know this song. I, I was about to say, the F in three. BFA stands for, anyway. <laughs> this is from Wasi 5117 Your Don't Rain On My Parade video was high camp. What was the process like putting that together? One oh. word. <laughs> no, go ahead. Hard. No, um, it was it, 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 glorious. I, I operate best in like lo having lots of business, having lots of chaos in my life. Go figure. Um, but I felt so level-headed and so like clear in what I was going for. And also I've seen Funny Girl a billion times as we all now, you know, everyone on earth knows. But I, I don't know, it was very joyful. It was very, very joyful, very fulfilling, very satisfying. Ariel's PM says, what did you steal from the set? A piece of the wall. Okay, wait, can I ask you something really quick? Oh my God, okay, so. Is it a one word answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it could be. <laughs> uh, no, okay. We so all stars. Uh, our all stars eight started that with a little square like this. Uh, it was a tiny little square, and then I took out. A, I took out a big old piece. Yeah, I did. Uh, a big old piece the size of a door because some of the other girls wanted some. They were scared, so then I cut and hand it out. Nation's and you sold it. On, yeah, she's yeah. selling it on Patreon. So then they were like, "Yeah, this set. We're gonna go put this in storage," and I'm like. So, are they going to bring that back out? And then when you guys go for season 16, you're going to see a big old chunk missing. Was there a chunk missing? No, we made a new chunk. Yes! I love I'm that. I'm so sorry, production. Y'all know I love you. Um, we, they all, <laughs> at our pink, like, you know, at the, the workstation's toolboxes, they give us a pair of scissors. And at the end of, of, of people's <laughs> times on the show, they would find something to do with those scissors that wasn't trim and lace. Oh, I also stole a golden styrofoam head. And, oh, I wanted to steal my costumes from the Rusical, but they wouldn't let me. Yeah. I'm too good of a girl. I was like, can I have this? And they were like, no. And I was like, can I steal it? Yeah. They're like, no, bitch, fuck you. Anyway. I took Jessica's, and then they were chasing Jessica around for it, but I had it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Courtney Rockwell. What are your top three, I'm sorry, top three favorite musicals? Oh, God. Um, Funny Girl, obviously. Dream Girls. Correct. And uh, West Side Story, because it was my professional theater debut. I love that shit. I know, I was Baby John, bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Should have played Doc. From Matthias Manuel, 1005. Uh, when are we getting the full version of your talent show song? Um, well, I. Uh, I have thought about this a lot. Yeah. And I think instead of releasing the full version of my talent show song, I'm trying to record a live album. 
Ooh. Because I think that it is one thing to record an album in the studio when you can depend on editing. I think it's another thing to be a live performer with live vocals that are that are captured forever. Yeah. And I am planning a cabaret in New York City for some time later this year where I hopefully will record it live. Absolutely amazing. Work. Love that. That's fierce. That's so sick. Thank you. Work. Hope right, let's get go to the audience. We got some more questions for you. Would yes. you would you guys go see Plasma in New York? Yes. Absolutely. What is your name and who's your question for? Uh, Casey, and I have a question for Plasma. Hi, Casey. Hey, I got my ass out of bed to ask you this. You've mentioned a couple times that you did speech and debate, but I need to know what category you did. <laughs> Listen here, bitch. <laughs> I did poetry interpretation, which is, oh, oh, you had a bet with your friend. I was like, he's... Prose and poetry is what I Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I yeah. begged to do prose, but they put me in poetry instead, and I won. Um, yeah. I did extemporaneous speech. I did congressional debate. We did, t- I, yeah, we did international. Oh, my God, work so we can all be Nancy Reagan together. <laughs> we always say extemp is, like, the gayest category. So. Extemp is fucking bullshit. I hate that. Actually, can we have the room? Can y'all get the fuck out of here? Let's talk about speech <laughs> in the room. No, just kidding. Thank no, you, but Casey. That's yeah, what I did. Thank, thank you, you, Casey. All right, we got a question right here. Hi, my name is Clayton, and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. And I'm wondering, on the girl group episode, when there was the not-so-subtle tension between Amanda and Plain Jane, why the fuck did you put Plain Jane and Amanda on the same team? Was there a plan behind that? Plan. There's something about going on RuPaul's Drag Race that isn't about competing based on talent or merit. And that is called making good television. And I think I had the opportunity to make good television, and I did. That's why. Did y'all enjoy what Amanda had to say to plain fucking Jane? It was great. What is your name, babe? Hi, I'm Eric. I'm from Miami, Florida. And real quick, Plasma, I saw you last week in Nashville and this week in Chicago, so let me know where you're going next week and I'll follow. Period. <laughs> but my question is for Plasma and Nasha. So I love watching... <laughs> what kind of job you got, bitch? I love watching, like, Bob and Monet doing the recaps and stuff like that. So what are you guys' opinions of, like, the alumni girls and just the other drag girls in general doing the recap shows? And what is your opinion on that when they have, like, kind of nasty comments about you guys? I think it's the most amazing, beautiful thing ever. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Boots. I think, no. <laughs> yeah, I think it brings us all uh, together. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, it's family is what it is. It's uh, very, yeah, it's very Olive Garden yeah, when you're yeah, here, yeah. your family. <laughs> it's very hashtag ally. Yeah. No, uh, to be honest with you, I, I always feel like the, the ones that should be making comments and really talking about stuff like that, and it comes from a genuine place are people who have experienced it because they've been there and they know exactly what it is to be there. She, absolutely amazing in the Rusical, but I'm sure as excited as she was, you were just as nervous as well. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, which I I have another question for you, by the way. Um, So when, you know, we're talking about stuff like that, I think it's great um, that it's people that have been on the show opposed to people who don't really know uh, anything about it. But um, really quick. So... You have two wins under your belt. In this, at the end of this, you know how it is on Drag Race. One day you can be here, and then you're down here. Did the two wins make you feel so much more comfortable, and you're like, I'm not walking on eggshells? Or were you still like, this is still a competition, I still gotta keep my head in the game? I definitely felt the pressure to keep going and to perform higher and better and yeah. faster. You know, like, you know, I felt the pressure of the momentum, yeah. like, continuation um i also felt that i had seen at this point so many of my sisters go home with nothing and i felt uh, immediately i was like okay i didn't win the first challenge on a fluke because now i want a second performance challenge for doing what i love for doing what i've done my whole life for doing what i feel is right for me so now i know like oh i am really good at this and i made my mark on national television and i'm like hopefully gonna have longevity in a career performing because i've now like done it well consistently twice in a row um that said when i heard that snatch game was next i was like (laughs) bitch i'm fucking tired um i also about the recap show the recap show i'm like (laughs) did you find that when you got off a drag race that everything instead of re or raw became rue rue 
everything. 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 Um, I think that the recap shows, I think that they are fun, and I think that people enjoy them, and I hope Bob and Monet are cashing a check, period. <laughs> And also, Bob loves me. Bob went on, a, go check my Twitter. Bob would like, went on a tangent about how much he loves me. And I was like, I, that was the last thing I fucking saw coming from my career was Bob the Drag Queen boosting me. Anyway. Hi, what's your name? Benjamin. We flew into Minneap from Minneapolis for this. This has been amazing. Um, our question is, yes. um, how long did it take for the $5,000 check to clear? And if it did, what did you use it for? <laughs> uh, we... we <laughs> Questions like that, she really can't answer, seriously. Like, because she's still on the show and there's con contractual obligations. But from past experiences. So from past experiences. Some girls have said. Uh, some, some girls have literally said, I'm not leaving this hotel room until that check clears. Actually, I, I that has happened. And then they were in, on All Stars when they, they had said that nobody was getting their money until when it airs. Yes. So when it airs, you get your coin. For some strange reason, for All Stars 8... They did not. When we had our like cast dinner at the end, we were all chit-chatting, everybody got their checks. Oh, word. Everybody... They were literally there like, ding, ding. They're like, oh, I got mine. Ding, ding, I got mine. Like, everybody got their coin. Wait, yeah. I actually... I actually have a positive story to add to like making sure that people get their money. Um, when, when the show wrapped and everybody was home... Everyone who won a challenge had money in their account waiting for them. We got direct deposit. So I had $10,000 from both of my, well, well $10,000 so far, uh, waiting ah. in my account. I'm like, bitch, I, I could go home next week and y'all wouldn't know the wiser, bitch. Anyway, um, no, but I had at least two wins worth of money in my account waiting for me. And I spent $8,000 on the yellow uh, flowers look that you just saw. So that's where that money went. <laughs> Uh, another reason why they give the money too, I, I remember as, an, as you would like uh, do an episode and you'd be there two days, you would get that money because you start running out of stuff and you're not working. It's not like you have any income coming in. So you, they're giving you this money and then you're like, I need tights. Mine are all broken. I'm out of my foundation. I need the, and they'll run to Santiali. They'll go buy you makeup. They'll buy you whatever it is that you need. So with that, you have to get from your money. Bitch, I gave a PA my credit card and I said, I don't want this bullshit food y'all are feeding me. Give me some Raisin Canes or else. Okay. Yes, that would have been dead my ass, I did, ass. bitch. My heart. My heart. <laughs> right, our sure. next question right here. What is uh -huh. your name and what is our question? Uh, hi, I'm Eric. Um, also a lot of love for uh, your Don't Rain On My Parade music video. It's really awesome, especially on the boat at the end. Really freaking stellar. Thank Questions you. for both of you. I'm new to Drag Race. This is like my first season watching live and I've since gone back and watched like five seasons. I can't figure out how big the workroom is and if every queen actually has her own station. Cause you see them packing up like their wigs and stuff, but I can't figure it out. Is there a side of the workroom? Is, are there four corners in the workroom? Are there more? I need to know. There, so the workroom is, good question. The workroom is huge. Uh, everyone does have like, so you see there's sort of like a U shape in every station, right? So you have about half of one of those U shapes. Um, you have like one garment rack, you have like one shelf to yourself, and then you have your pink toolbox, which like with the kind of drag that with the kind of drag Saphir motherfucking Crystal is packing, <laughs> she needs the whole goddamn workroom to it's herself. Nothing. It's nothing for like it's a space this big. Yeah, I took six 30 gallon tubs from Home Depot and two 75 gallon tubs from Home Depot full of gay fucking shit. <laughs> and it was not enough space. Bitch. Oh, oh, and that, that yellow hat that I wore, which was by my, my dear friend from college, Jules Describer. Y'all should all look her up. She's a fantastic milliner in New York. Um, but the workroom shelves are red. The, the big yellow hat I was wearing on the show. I put that on top of my red shelf in my workroom station, and I took it down. It's, it's, the bottom of it is white. It's white pleated tulle that was like a fortune. It was very expensive. I took it off the shelf, and it was covered in red paint. Uh. And I was like, this does not bode well. <laughs> Makes me very angry. So I spent $5,000 getting a new hat. No, 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 just kidding. I kept that hat, bitch, because I'm not buying a new fucking hat. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so we hey, got Betty. a question back here. 
Actually, uh, so I'm actually from Chicago, but I live in L.A. right now. Whoop, whoop. But my- oh, I'm sorry, I'm melting right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> it's Daniel, and I'm from here. Okay. But I just want to say, Nasha, it's really nice to meet you in person. You're really, really pretty, like really, really pretty. You, bitch, I, actually, you're the first girl I followed on Instagram, so there's that. Because you are the definition of a bad bitch, just so you know. Um, Plasma, I was going to jump off the comments about Bob, but you already went there, so congratulations. Um, he just raved about you so much, and it's deserved, especially after this episode. You ate that shit up. You were so good. And you are a star. You are a star. Like, for real, for real. And Kara, Kara you are so smart. You are so smart, and you're Correct. everything to me. Like, I follow all y'all, but exactly, exactly. So Y'all anyway. start lining up. He's going to give a compliment to everyone in this room. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no. It's just the girls, but... But with that being said, I want to ask y'all a question because it means a lot to me that y'all do this. It means a lot to y'all do this to me. And I'm always on your lives, by the way. But anyway, um, who was your favorite drag queen and why? Of, of your of your alls. Plasma, do you have a favorite drag queen? Who's your favorite drag, drag queen and why? Do you need a second? Uh, oh, shit. I might need a second. Yeah. Do you have one? Um, I'll just say from Drag Race, it, it would be Bob for me. They exemplify just immaculate comedy. Where they have now improved on their looks, um, I, I, always see, <laughs> I always see myself growing. Today. So like the path that they have and the success that they have, that is something I want to emulate and or achieve one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If you know me, you know that Monet is my favorite queen. I love, love, love her inside and outside. <laughs> Oh, the, wow. No, I mean, not, not like wow, that. I like, I like him inside. My God. Girl, my goodness. Holds her down. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Did you, uh, are you still thinking about yours? No, I got one. Okay, you got yours. And I hate to pander to the Chicago crowd, but it's Shay motherfucking cool. Ah! <laughs> Mother. Okay, it's, it's so funny that you said that, because I'm like, there's no way that I could choose one. Like, it, like Jinx Monsoon, comedy actress is just everything to me. Her her uh, snatch game should be a fucking masterclass on how to do snatch game. It was so good. And then you have Roxy Andrews, who makes every single piece of drag that she wears. Roxy makes it. That is some, that is some sickening fucking talent. That is one talented drag queen. And then you have Shea Coulee, who's just this fashion. Then Sasha Velour. I could really just keep going. There's no fucking way that I could choose one. Absolutely not. Because everyone for different reasons, for sure. Okay, our next question's right over here. Hi, queens. My name's Peggy, and I am a huge Sound of Music nerd. Like, grew up on Sound of Music. The first songs I knew were Climb Every Mountain. Um, and there were so... So sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Peggy. Keep going. I think going. that's out of everyone's range, unfortunately. Um, but I am curious. There were so many references tonight of Sound of Music, just all the little things, and I was just dying over here. And I was curious, um, what were some of your favorite references that either Rue made or from the actual musical itself? Um, well, <laughs> Club, Club Anal Vice. Let's start there. The Swish Alps. Um, Th- there were so many I don't know the fact of the, like our favorite song from the musical like as a cast collectively was Girl which is the solution to Do Re Mi it's like girl girl like girl I have some tea that song and we all were like I don't know if the other girls picked up on this but I was like not them going over like gay history gay lingo like queer history queer terminology like as I'm over here watching you know Julie Andrews in her lesbian haircut <laughs> march across the soundstage covered in grass in my head I don't know, like every single moment of the musical, there, there was like another nuance that I got to pick up on, which like as the only person in the fucking room, which they didn't air, the producers asked me to go around the room and ask every group if they had ever seen The Sound of Music. They were like, Plasma, why don't you go ahead and tell them the plot of The Sound of Music? Okay, well, The, pl- the Sound of Music is about... And I was like, and y'all wanted to play the lead over me over my fucking dead body. Anyway. <laughs> we got a question right here for you. Hello, my name is Matthew. I'm from New York City. Boomer, but, bitch. Mm-hmm, Boomer. Mm-hmm, but I was born and raised near Norman, Oklahoma. Uh, <laughs> and so um, I have a question for Plasma. Um, so I, um, you know, I'm a homosexual who survived nights at Campus Corner. <laughs> <laughs> so I would love to hear, like, you know, as someone who's like an Oklahoma City bitch, um, like, if, how, like, going to OU for your BFA or just being in the Oklahoma City gay scene kind of, like, inspired your drag, if at all. 
Um, I actually have a great question, and also, boomer sooner, bitch. I'm glad that you got out of that fucking town, and congratulations. Uh, 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 and also, I miss the way I could eat in college at that fucking Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, I actually have the University of Oklahoma to thank for my drag career, I would say, because to this day, the University of Oklahoma has the largest drag show in the state of Oklahoma called Crimson and Queens. The school colors are Crimson and Cream. The first year they did it, they brought in Kennedy Davenport, which is my freshman year of college. The next year, they brought in Alyssa Edwards. The third year was COVID. Uh, and the fourth year, they brought in Alyssa virtually and Shangela virtually. And they spent $20,000 for us, the, the queens from the university, to go to a soundstage and film individual numbers over the course of a day. So like, the amount of money, they and also they just, they just made headlines because they paid Willow Pill $18,000. Was it Willow Pill or Evie Oddly? It was one and then the other. They paid the winners of RuPaul's Drag Race almost $20,000 to come in and the governor of Oklahoma was furious and got rid executive order style to... Yeah, I get all of it. Tell us... Listen, bitch, I want to hear all this. Who else got paid, girl? The, <laughs> she's like, are they looking for someone this year, yeah, bitch? bitch? Yeah, anyway, the University of Oklahoma is where I started in drag. It's where I found my vintage aesthetic in drag and my musical theater love of drag. It's where I have my degree. Um, and when I moved to New York, I was like, okay, I can either audition for Broadway shows that don't exist because of COVID right now. Batty, what the fuck are you looking at me for? <laughs> or I can become a drag queen in New York because I got my start in Oklahoma, and that's what I did. So I love the University of Oklahoma, and I attribute them with a lot of my success. Yes, okay. Thank you so much for that question, distinguished panel of judges. Thank you, Plasma Arena. All right, right over here, our next question. Wait, before you get that, this is why we only got one guest, bitch. Cause they be yakking, they be talking. She's giving us all the tea, Yo. though. I love it. No, it's good. Batty, what, are we back to one word answer? Oh, do you have a question? No, yeah, I do. Hi. Uh, me first. Be oh, okay, go. Yeah, right over here. What is your name? We're running out of time. Question. Hurry up. My name is Gabe. Uh, this is for Plasma. So, Plain Jane was going after a mandatory meeting a few episodes back, and you had a clap back for her. Were you the only one defending her, or were there other people defending her as well? Good question. Wait, wait, at what moment was this? This is when you called her out for having her arm hair touching her bracelet. Oh, plain? In one sentence. I don't remember whether or not I was the only person who called her out, but I hope that I wasn't because I was drunk. Next question. How is your relationship with plain Jane? I've asked every... It's nothing... I've asked every girl that has come here because I think it's funny. How is your relationship with Plain Jane? Oh, you Jane? think it's funny? <laughs> you think it, bitch? Um, Plain Jane is a professional and she knows how to make excellent television. And we work together on a television program called RuPaul's Drag Race. Batty, what's the next question? Ooh, ooh, they want to know a, a busted New York queen, but that's not it. This is no. we're gonna do this. This one good question. Hanukkah right Lewinsky. Got you. Hey, Miss Plasma. So between the regular season and All Stars, what which season of RuPaul's other than your own would you most want to be featured on? Ooh, that's good. Like one that already exists. Yeah. Or make one. Oh, bitch! One of the early ones, so I could have had bad makeup and gotten away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Which honestly, like, I'll look at my face now and look at my face on the show. We've done a lot of growing since then. Yes. And I. But I never thought your makeup looked bad on the show. I, I really don't. I don't know. I don't think. Cut to your question bad. about how yeah. I feel about Plain Jane. Yeah. <laughs> and the things she said to me about my yeah. makeup. Yeah. No. Oh, thank you. I um. Oh, I would have loved to be on. Oh, I don't know. You know what? All Stars three. So Trixie and I could have sung a duet. Okay, work. Yeah, and I could have outsung her. All right. Ah! Our last question's right over here, Plaza. No, I love that one. Work, Batty. My God. All right, Guys, what, what is your name and what is our final question? Hi, my name's Patrick. I'm from Alabama. Uh, first of all, Yeehaw. congratulations on two wins. But let's say, God forbid, you don't win. Who are you rooting for? To take the crown this season. I almost just said Amanda, bitch. Um, yeah, you could still root for her. I no, mean, we are rooting for Amanda. Rooting we love for her. her. Oh, thank you. 
You're rooting for Amanda? Oh my God, that's so who? sweet. Who are you rooting for? Yeah. <laughs> um, she don't like them hoes. Look, it took her a long time. No, you know what? They, they're not showing as much of it as I would like them to. Safira, Crystal, and I grew really, really close. And that bitch got me through some tricky mental health crises on that show. I would be team Safira Crystal. Would okay. you say? Would you say that's your? Would you say that out of the entire cast, that's probably who you've grown the closest to and had the strongest bond with? Uh, I actually would say Don, Amanda, and I are are a tight knit trio. Okay. Um, but but if if we're just talking about like one relationship, like mano y mano, I would say Safira Crystal. Let's talk about another relationship. Anybody else that you just don't connect with, other than playing? There's this girl in Chicago just, named Nasha that I don't really connect with. Yeah. I've heard of her. I've heard of her. Uh, um, plain, you know, when the cameras are not rolling. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to answer that. I was oh. joking. But yes, okay, so I'm it's like, plain I Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Love. Well, well, plain, like I said, is a professional. She knows when to turn it on and turn it off. Um, sometimes. Um, I hate to say it. We actually genuinely like each other a lot, which is such a disappointing answer. Not at all. I... It, it, I said it a couple episodes before. Look, she's good TV. I'm fucking enjoying her. I fucking love Plain Jane. And I'm not... I mean, she, it's good TV. It's fun to watch. They're the same it's people. It's hilarious. But anyway, with that uh, said, we uh, have concluded our Q&A. Oh, listen, we, we had no concept of time because I have genuinely been enjoying you so much. Absolutely. I can continue to listen to talk to you. You are one of my favorites. I absolutely adore you. Ah. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, please put your hands together for Plasma! <laughs> and please do not forget to join us next week as we have special guests, Morphine Love Dion in the house. And also, if you're not a VIP member, please make sure you subscribe at $1.99. Hallelujah. Um, we want to say thank you to all of our VIP members. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we will be performing at 10.30, so please stick around. Please put your hands together one more time for Caramel DeVille. <laughs> Keep it going for Batty Davis. <laughs> and make some noise for the number one stunner, Nasha Lopez. Wah, wah, thank, wah, you, wah. thank you, thank you guys so much. Don't forget to stick around. Let's make our way this way. We're going to knock this stuff all out of the way. Um, be generous to your bartenders, and let's have a good time. Ciao. See y'all shortly. Bye, YouTube. Wah.